Okay, so what you see here is a Solon One. I'm really excited about this uh, this project. This is something I've come up with to try to make alternative energy easy. In fact, idiot-proof easy. And uh, it works great. I've been testing this for a long time. Before I posted any videos on this, I wanted to do a lot of testing. I was actually trying to figure out what I should do with this. I was very tempted to, uh, to market this and different things. And while that was always an idea in my head, I finally decided to just share this freely. Um, this, this and the links to all the parts I used to build this will be on laserhacker.com. They'll be, I'll be discussing this on laserhackerforum.com. I put up a forum there. The Solon One project is something that I think we could get a lot of uh, energy behind and build up a lot of these units, uh, source the parts, you know, bring the price down. Let me just turn this, this uh, radio down here a little bit. Bring the uh, cost of these down, although even now they're quite attractive in, in price. And you'll see that when I get the price list up on my website. But you can see I've got a, uh, an AC fan here running, all these AC lights, um, charging my iPad. i got a 2 amp USB. And uh, all coming off this one little solar panel here. So, that's a, a quick overview of the Solon One. One of the main features that makes the Solon One unique is everything that you need all in one and then a single on and off switch. And this particular unit, I have two on and off switches. I have a jewel ringer here as well as an AC inverter as well as a, a 2 amp USB. And uh, I'll show you a little overview here. So here's the, uh, the panel itself, and you can see that uh, everything needed for this is actually uh, slimmed down and put into the panel itself. I got the uh, AC plug right here on the side, I've got the slimline inverter, and the plug for the jewel ringer right there. You can see I got the transistor for the jewel ringer on the aluminum frame of the panel, that makes a great heat sink. So what I've got here is I've got 20 amp hours of, of battery right here. These are uh, lithium iron phosphate batteries. Um, they're, again, 20, 20 amp hours right here at about 14 volts. So just a tremendous amount of, uh, of watt hours that this thing can deliver. And then what I've got here is I've got a um, battery balancer circuit. This circuit keeps each cell balanced so that one cell doesn't come up on over voltage or one discharge too far. Coming off from that, I've got uh, a solar charger unit that uh, takes the uh, energy from the sun, charges all of this. It also controls the, uh, the power coming to the inverter. So this allows me to have a single on and off switch for the whole device. And that's the idea here. We want to make, we want to make alternative energy easy. Um, for too long, alternative energy has been a very mysterious thing. People have a hard time matching the batteries to the inverter, to the solar panel, to all these different systems. So with a system like this, we can actually make it very easy for the uh, end user. So you basically have a single on and off switch that activates the whole thing. If you leave this on too long, low voltage detection shuts down the load. Uh, the breeze from the fan's kind of cool. So yeah, if you leave this on too long, a low voltage protection shuts down all this load. Um, if you leave this in the sun too long, the uh, over voltage protection kicks in and keeps these batteries from uh, overcharging. So I've got my 2 amp USB here for charging devices. You can see I've got more room here. I could put more battery capacity. That's what really amazes me. When I first decided to build one of these, the challenge in my mind was can we actually get everything we need for an all-in-one system into the profile of a regular um, solar panel. This is a 20 watt solar panel. You know, can I get a 20 amp hour battery, an inverter, a um, jewel ringer, a charge, solar charge controller, all of that stuff fit down in a slim uh, solar panel like this. And you can see that, yes, it is possible. We can do that, and when you do that, you create something that, to the alternative energy world, is kind of like the iPad is to computers. I think this right here could change alternative energy. Just as the, uh, the iPad experience has changed uh, computers for many people, it's made computers simple and easy to use. That's the same concept we have going on here. I think this particular project is what could really get alternative energy and solar uh, recognized. 
So we named this uh, Solon One. Um, obviously, I'm giving this away freely for anybody to to build and to use, and I would hope that that these could be put into use uh, all over the world. You could put something like this in a closet, and when you have an earthquake or a tsunami or or a tornado come through, such as I have, you can just pull this out of the closet. Uh, these lithium iron phosphate batteries will hold a charge for a very long time, I mean years. They also have thousands of charge discharge cycles, so this, this is great. You can set this in the sun, point it at a window. You can see here on the back, there's uh, these two lights. The uh, light here on the left means the, the unit's charging. So that's what we got going on there. You can see that the blinking light means that it is actually charging. So right now we're actually charging from the, uh, the lights right there. It's actually charging this, this unit. So, let me uh, just turn some of this off and I'll show you guys the, uh, the jewel ringer functionality of this device. So right now I have the jewel ringer circuit set up separately from the inverter. So I'm gonna power down the inverter and we're going to uh, run the jewel ringer. You can see the jewel ringers uh, in the device right here. So by separating these two, right now I have two switches. Again, I want this to be a super easy to use device. One of the things I think that should define a Solon One is a single switch. So this is a prototype. I do have a plan to make the, uh, this whole device run on a single switch. I think we should have some target goals for something that we call a Solon One. Um, easy to use would be one of the, the number one goals and, and everything should strive to make this as easy as possible to use. Uh, these need to be able to be put into action anywhere in the world and people don't need to be worried about all the complexities of solar and alternative energy that, that they've had to worry about in the past. You basically set this thing in the sun, it charges, you connect a load, you run the load, it, you run it too long with too much of a load, its safety shuts off, put it in the sun the next day it charges. Um, just again, super simple and easy to use. But in this case I have the, uh, the jewel ringer here coming directly off the, uh, the battery load. The uh, battery balancer here will shut down the jewel ringer if it, if it gets low voltage on the batteries. But by having the uh, jewel ringer set up like that, we can run a load off the jewel ringer at two to 300 milliamps, which again is the beauty of the jewel ringer because this little inverter takes two to 300 milliamps just to run in, in idle mode. And uh, that's the, the whole beauty of the jewel ringer circuit, as all of us who have been experimenting with those know. So here we've got a uh, jewel ringer light. So we're running this light right here for the amount of energy it takes me just to run this inverter. And that's the beauty of putting a jewel ringer in a solen one device like this. Um, now that we have the jewel ringer in there, you could have, you could have this uh, in, in the house in just a single bedroom or something and only be pulling two to 300 milliamps and it, with a 20 amp hour battery supply at you know 13.7, 14 volts, <laughs> that's, that light there is going to run a very long time, folks, on this, on this jewel ringer part of the circuit. And of course, as you know with the jewel ringer, we can plug in other types of lights, uh, we can plug in multiple LED bulbs like this. So fully functional uh, jewel ringer there, right on the device. Okay. Just to show that the jewel ringer part of the circuit can put out a serious amount of light. Check this out. This is a, um, a really big LED light. Let me just see what the specs here on this thing real quick. This particular light here is uh, 885 lumens, 18 watt LED light. Lowe's had this on sale the other day. But I'm gonna plug this light into the jewel ringer portion of the circuit. And look at that, folks. Oh, that is blinding blindingly bright light right there. And uh, what a beautiful thing to see the thin profile <laughs> of this solar panel. And uh, you've seen the overview, so you know, you know the capability that's in this little panel right here. Okay, what, is, what makes a Solon One? Uh, my vision for the Solon One is that if, if we build these things, and again, I wanna give this idea away freely at this point, and if we build these things and name this, you know, if we make a thread on the internet somewhere, post a YouTube video, you don't have to do this, obviously. I'm giving this away freely, but my request to people in the alternative energy community would be to call a device like this a soul in one. And I think we'll build momentum. I think this will start to avalanche. Um, I've got, I put up a forum on laserhacker.com. 
I plan on making a thread there. I can't keep up with all the forums on the internet and all the information that's going on there, but I, I'm going to try to put more energy into answering uh, people's questions and uh, being active on the form that I put up. And on that form, we can build some momentum behind this. We can uh, spec parts. Uh, we can find cheaper sources for these, uh, these lithium iron phosphate batteries. You know, if we find an inverter that works better, whatever it is, we can keep the momentum going on this. We can build these. We can send these out to missions. We can, uh, we can give these to friends. I've got friends that live off the grid. You know, we, we can get energy and momentum building up behind this. And the reason this will take off when a lot of solar products haven't taken off in the past is the simplicity. People love easy and solar up until the, up until this point, if you ask me, it's been hard. I've seen other products on the market, and they always have a panel, an external inverter, an external battery pack, or just all types of complexity. You can throw this in the back of a backpack frame on a hiking trip, and it will charge as you're hiking, and you'll have power in the evening at your tent. I've taken this on camping trips. You know, I've, pretty, I've treated this thing pretty harsh. Um, I'll leave this thing out in my metal rooftop for weeks on end, uh, through rain, through everything else. And I haven't tried to waterproof this or anything, but I'm just doing hard, hard testing on this device. Because I want to see how this thing's gonna hold up. And, uh, you know, maybe, maybe the heat from the sun will keep our charge discharge cycles down a little bit on these lithium iron phosphate batteries, time will tell. But let's, uh, let's get some momentum behind this. I really think if we bring this type of a concept uh, to the world, I think alternative energy will just take off. So um, join me on Laser Hacker Forum. I will post updates and links. I'll probably, this is a rather crude first prototype, so expect version two of this to look a whole lot nicer in, in the looks of the device itself. But anyway, that's it. Let's all keep experimenting. So I thought I should just give a quick overview of the specs that are inside this device. I've got 20 amp hours of a battery pack. I've got a 200 watt AC inverter. I've got a 2 amp USB. And I've got a jewel ringer. And it's all built into this uh, Solon one device.